Hello, my name is Jenna Bosiger, and you're watching Cryptic Cryptids. On this episode, I want to show you some prints that I found. This new group of prints that I found, I have found in an area where there's limited public access and it's pressed right up against the Batista Canyon Wilderness border area. Hopefully, you'll be able to get a good look at them. And I'm really kind of hoping that somebody can give me some confirmation that these are actual prints with toes. Because if they are, well, I have officially found a new hotspot. And because of where they are been where they're located, I'm confident that they were not made by humans. So I guess if anyone could just tell me, yeah, they look like human prints, I would be happy with that because to me that means they are made from some kind of cryptid human, a wild human. So let's take a look at these prints. Now this first print, it, does, it doesn't look long and it isn't long, but it looks very wide. It's also very flat. It doesn't have any kind of an arch. And the toes are splayed. They are like all pointing straight out. They don't look like they've been pointed and forced into a shoe for any kind of time. It looks to me like a baby Bigfoot print. And you can see my foot there. I did my best to put my foot the tip of my foot in the picture when I could to give some sense of scale. And the tip of my shoe there, that white part, is two inches long. So that should give you some idea as to how big the footprint is. And my entire shoe is 10 inches. I wear a size eight in women's shoes. I did try to draw in some of the footprints to give you an idea. Now these, this other one is bony, but look at the splayed toes again, and look at how they look very claw-like at the end. This is the type of print that doesn't look like it's coming from a coyote or a cougar or a human. So if it's not a raccoon either, then what is it? This print, it seems too big to be from a coyote or a bobcat or a cougar or a raccoon. Got long toes coming from the canyon area. And then this print is quite large, both long and wide. And it's got toes not as visible as some of the other prints. Like I said, there's not really going to be barefoot humans out here. So if you think that looks like a barefoot human print, that's good. That's really good. Now down here, this print to me, out of all the prints, I could see maybe being like a bear claw. Although I'm not sure. I don't really know. What do you think? This print looks like it has some very big toes. And just from the tip of my toe, I'd say it's not incredibly long, but just based on the shape and the fact that it's it's just bigger than most animals. So what kind of print again? What kind of print is it? It looks like a footprint, a strange footprint. And then how weird is this? I saw this little spiral of what looks like coffee beans. And I mean, that's just so weird and so random out here. Like why are there, why is there a little spiral of coffee beans? So I was just about to pick one up when I realized this could be animal poop. So if you know what that, is that animal poop? I don't know, I thought it was coffee beans. And here these just look like two barefoot human prints, barefoot human prints and some sort of a, a claw. So that's the latest group of prints in this new area that I've been looking at. And like I said, limited public access coming straight from the wilderness. And I'm wondering if you think any of these look like human, barefoot human prints. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really